right. Go Ridge Life. Hello and welcome back to Homesteading Northern Michigan. Today is exciting. As always, what we're doing today is we're going to be finishing up the block. As you can see, it's all looking really, really good. I haven't made the doors yet, and we're going to put these two pieces in here. So there's going to be two stacks going straight up, so that way it can get to that clean-out trap. And then we'll have a door to access the other stuff. Bag is done, looking beautiful. Now, I haven't quite decided if I want to start here or start under the porch there. Let's see if you can see. So all I got to do is maybe five foot. I think I might start under there and work my way because that's the worst is being under there. We had a problem here with some supports being bad. I ended up having to jack it up and I put a four by four there supporting everything. There's still some repairs I got to do to the insulation. I'm not having any of that on camera. So if I start there, I can run all the way to about here. There's going to be an access port right here. And this is all going to be a big sunroom where I tore off this deck right here. We're going to hopefully next year, but probably not. So let's get underneath this trailer and start uh, laying some block. It's a little cramped in here, my friend.
Oh man, I don't think you guys can see me. Man, I'm still out here working. It's getting dark, guys. I, I didn't realize the camera wasn't on. I apologize. Well, my friends, it's the next day, and we are going to get started back up. I know that the camera, I didn't hit the record button in time, and then uh, when I noticed, it was already dark. But here we go. With This is what we got done. As you can see, my work's a little bit lacking. In the that doesn't look very good at all. It was getting dark. But we did all the way through here. So now what we got to do is we're just going to finish off right here. Come to about right where that corner of that door is. It will probably go about here. And uh, have a little entrance door. We don't need a super big one over here. We got a decent sized one by the plumbing. We're gonna do is we're gonna bring more block over here and keep going. door and a little bit over That's where the access will be so, normal size access it gives me some uh, growing room Maybe put a few more uh, sizes on the old pants and still get under there so let's move on to the other side shall we Side off we got two bolts we got one right here to do 
the one right here to do. So, I'm gonna just start with this one, I guess. So here we go with this part. We got this finished up. My battery had died. I got like 9% on it right now. So I gotta make this real quick about showing you because I don't have any charged. I only have like a half a bucket of mortar left. I'm probably just gonna fill in down there. There's no, no foundation cement there. So I might fill in there and set some blocks here on the bottom. But it's only half a bucket, so I don't want to like halfway start it in case I got to move something. So I'm thinking I'm going to do these little half blocks I got. I don't want to move the blocks that are holding up the frame of the house uh, because they settle. So if I were to move them, they would have to resettle. That would take some adjustments. And it looks like they're sitting on a slab. And you see where the chickens are walking out right now. There's not cement there. Like right there, but there is right here, all the way around here. As you can see right there. But it just for some reason, they didn't do it right here. Probably because the tongue was there. I am going to do this last little bit. Let my batteries charge. And before I mix up my last batch of mortar, I will get the camera fired up.
All right, so I just got washed up. My hands are raw, even with wearing gloves. But, uh, well, to be honest, I wasn't wearing gloves the whole time. So anyways, this is what I came up with. It's looking pretty good. This was the hardest part. But let's get an overall view. It's looking more like a house. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that siding and I'm gonna cut it about six inches and I'm gonna line it all and that'll that'll make it all seamless and nice. Be beautiful. There we go, my friends. There we go. Look at that. Cut off all that expanded foam tomorrow after it cures. Well, my friends, I'm going in to warm up. So I will see you tomorrow where we cut those up, uh, pieces of skirting, and we uh, tack them to the side. Well, my friends, I would like to thank you for watching Homesteading Northern Michigan. There was supposed to be some more footage on the end of this, but there's not, and I'm sorry about that. But I would like to thank all of my subscribers. I am close to 2,200 subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. And a super special shout out to all the Michiganders who clicked that join button. Thank you. You guys have a blessed day. Peace.